Okay, hello everyone. Have you done my uh, third story part one? Okay, now this is the uh, third story part two, which is the Drover's Wife by Henry Lawson, part two. Okay, let's start together. She's used to be in left alone she wants to live like this for 18 months as a girl she built the unusual the usual castles in the air but all her girlfish girlish hopes and aspirations have long been that she finds all the excitement and recreation she needs in the young ladies journals and heaven help her takes a pleasure in the fashion class her husband is an australian and so is she he is careless but a good enough husband if he has the means uh, he would like he would take her to the city and keep her there like a princess there they are used to being apart or at least she is no use fretting she says he may forget sometimes that he that he is married but if he has a good check when he comes back he will give most of it to her when he had money he took her to the city several times hire a railway sleeping compartment and put it and put up at the best hotels he also bought her a bugger buggy but they had to sacrifice that along with the rest the last two children were born in the bush one while her husband was bringing a drunken doctor by force to attend to her she was alone on this occasion and very weak she had been ill with favors she prays to god to send her assistant god sent back mary and witness with uh, witness queen in all the land or at least god sent king jimmy first and he sent back black mary he put his black face round the doctor pause post took uh, in the situation at a glance and said cheerfully all right mistress i bring my old woman she downs along a creek one of the children died while she was here alone she rode 19 miles for distance carrying the dead child it must be near one or two o'clock o'clock the fire is burning low alligator lies with his head resting on his paws and watches the wall he is not a very beautiful duck and the light shows humorous old wound, old wound where the air will not grow he is afraid of nothing on the face of the earth or under it he will tackle a ballock as readily as the he will tackle a player he has all all other ducks except kangaroo ducks and uh, has a marked dislike to friends or relations of the family 
they seldom call however he sometimes makes friends with strangers he has neck snakes and has killed many but he will beaten some day and die most neck dogs and that way now and then the bush woman lays down her work and watches and listens and thinks she thinks of things in her own life for there is little else to think about the rain will make the grass grow and this reminds her how she forged a bush fire once while her husband was away the grass was long and very dry and the fire threatened to burn her out she put on an old pair of her husband's trousers and beat out the flames with a green ball till great drops of uh, sooty perspiration and stood out on her forehead and ran in streak down her blackened arms. The sight of his murder in trousers greatly amused Tommy, who worked like a little hero by her side. But the terrified baby howled lustily for his mummy. The fire would have mastered her, but for four excited bushmen for a who arrived in the nick of time it was a mixed-up affair all around when she went to wait uh, take up the baby and uh, he screamed and struggled con convulsively thinking it as a black man and alligators uh, trusting more to the child's sin than his own instinct charged furiously and being old and all a uh, mistake was as evident as his rack tail and a 12 inch green could make it it was a glorious triumph for the boys a day to look back to and talk about and laugh over for many years slightly deaf did not in his excitement at first recognize his mistress voice but continued to hang on to the uh, moleskin skins until chalk off by Tommy with a saddle strap. The dog sorrows forced his blunders and his initial anxiety to let it be known that it was. She thinks how she fought a flood during her span absent. She stood for hours in the drenching down poor power the dark and overflow got to, to serve the dam across the creek but she could not self it there are not, there are things that a bush woman cannot do next morning the dam was broken and her heart was nearly broken too for she thought how her husband would feel when uh, he came home and saw the result of years of labor swept away. She cried then. She also forced the pleuro pneumonia, dose and blood 
the remaining cattle and web again when her two best cows die. Again, she fought a mad bullock and that besieged the house for a day. She met Bullet and fired uh, at him through cracks in the slabs with an old shotgun. He was that in the morning. She skinned him and got seventeen and sixpence for the hide. Now and then, the bush woman lays down her work and watches and listens. And things she thinks about uh, things in her own. Life for there is little else to think about. She also fights the crows and uh, crows and eagles that have designs on her chickens. The plan of champions is very original. The children cry, crows cow or crows mother and she rushes out and arms the uh, broomstick at the birds as those it were a gun and says bang the crow crows uh, the crows live in a hurry they are cunning but a woman's cunning is greater Occasionally, a bush woman in a hers or a valorous, valorous looking sundowner comes and nearly scares the life out of her. She generally tells the suspicious looking stranger that her husband and two sons are at work below the dam or over at the yard for he always cunningly inquires for the boss only last week a gallows faced swing man having that satisfies himself at uh, that there were no men on the place threw his back down on the Verenda and demanding tucker she gave him something to eat then he expressed the intentions of staying for the night it was sudden down then she got a bad turn from the sofa loosened the dog and confront hits the strangers holding the baton in one hand and the dog's co uh, collar with the others now you go he said she said he looked at her and at the dog said all right all right mum in a cry uh, in a cring cringing tone and left she was the a determined looking woman and alligator's yellow eyes glare unpleasantly besides the dogs showing up apparatus greatly resemble that of the reptile he was named after she has two pleasures to think of as she sat, sits here alone by the fires to, on guard against a snake. All these are much the you know, same for her, but on Sunday afternoon, she dresses herself, tidies the children, smartens up day, and goes for a lonely walk along along the bush track pushing on an old perambulator letters in front of her she does 
This every Sunday, she takes as much care of to make herself and the children look smart as she would if she were going to do the block in the city. There is nothing to see, however, and not a soul to meet. You might walk for 20 miles along this track without being able to fix a point in your mind, unless you are a bushman. This is because of the everlasting maddening sam sameness of the stunted trees that uh, monotony which can makes a man long to break away and travel as far as trains can go and sail as far as ships can sail and farther. Okay, this is the the end of the second second uh, part of the third story is the drover's wife by Henry Lawson. Okay, uh, I hope you will repeat after me. Thank you for your listening. Try to understand and get more uh, questions to me. Thank you so much.